Hello and welcome to this presentation on the findings from our research project, Visions of the Future, Hope and Fear in an Age of Automation. I'm Karina Schofield and I'll be talking through our project along with Grace Brown and Stefania Kassar. We plan to spend around 20 minutes talking through our research. We will begin by providing you with a very brief background to the topic area and we will detail our research aims. We will then describe our methodology in detail. We have a lot of data so we have pulled out some of the key findings and organised them by theme. And we will finish with some conclusions and describe the next steps for our work. Finally we have some contact details at the end of the presentation if you have any questions or would like to get in touch. HART is an international business school with a very diverse student body. Our curriculum focuses on business and we offer bachelor, masters, MBA and EMBA degrees. In addition to our core business courses, we offer general education courses in science and technology, ethics, the humanities, history and society. Starting with the background to this research, when searching online we found a huge number of media articles and websites describing the impact of artificial intelligence, or AI, on jobs. There are endless statements in these articles about jobs being replaced, questions around what will happen in the future, and coverage about how prepared we as a workforce are for this future. An example of some of the headlines we found are shown here. As you can see, the messaging seems to alternate between reassurance and an urgent need to respond. With all this media hype surrounding technological unemployment, a number of studies have been conducted to examine how susceptible jobs are to computerisation, and there's even an app on the BBC website called Will a Robot Take Your Job, which enables you to enter your current job title to understand how likely you are to be replaced. However, few research studies have investigated the perceptions and feelings of individuals who may be affected by increasing automation, and their plans to navigate a future increasingly shared with technology and this is what our research aims to explore. The aim of our research is summarised on the slide. We wanted to explore students' attitudes, perceptions and reported behaviours regarding the impact of AI on the world of work and education. In this project, we look at a specific set of individuals, those just on the cusp of entering the workforce. The findings from this study will help educators understand and best prepare today's workforce for the world of tomorrow and prompt students to think critically about the kinds of future they could be navigating in a few years' time. In terms of our research methodology, we collected data from two different groups of participants. The first group was made up from just over 350 young people studying in the UK and the US. Our second group was made up of just over 50 international undergraduate business students studying a robotics, business and society course at Holt's undergraduate campus in London. We collected both qualitative and quantitative data in a variety of ways from these groups. First, the Holt undergraduate students on the robotics course completed online surveys just before starting the course and then again at the end of the course. These students also took part in two different focus groups and completed end of course essays all on the topic of AI in the worlds of work and education. The second wider group of over 350 students took part in a Crowdoscope survey, which is an online discussion tool for real-time collective intelligence. They contributed to a discussion around the potential impact of AI on their future career. We combined all the data from the survey, focus groups, Crowdoscope and essays to present four key themes. Firstly, we'll talk through the kinds of futures that students envisage when it comes to AI. This includes students' hopes and fears and the benefits and challenges that they see in a future increasingly shared with technology. Then we'll talk through how students see themselves in these futures, how prepared they are and the reported impact that AI is having on their lives. And thirdly, we'll talk about how students plan to actively respond. What skills do they think they need? And then finally, what advice they have for younger students and for educators. So what kind of futures do students envisage? What are students' hopes and fears about these futures? And are they more positive or negative? The survey data shows the majority of students are worried about the changes AI could bring to their work in life. 
However, the majority of students are also enthusiastic about these potential changes. And the findings from the post-course survey found that after study in the robotics course, students felt more enthusiastic and described how more knowledge learnt on the course led to them feeling more hopeful and seeing more opportunities in their futures. Sticking with this same theme, when asked an open question using the Crowdoscope survey, students tended to describe both hopes and fears about AI. Overall, they were more positive than negative. You can see from the summary table here that almost one third of students provide hopeful responses regarding the impact of AI on their future. Just over one quarter of students provided responses that contained a mixture of hopes and fears. And the smallest number of students, 18%, provided a response that mainly focused on concerns regarding their future. You can see some example quotes from students here too. The key benefits and hopes for AI that students mentioned were that AI will make life easier, more efficient and more effective. Students were excited about AI freeing up time and capacity for other interests and hobbies. They also predicted more interesting work, new job creation, saving money and increasing sharing of information and communication. There were lots of phrases like new opportunities, bright futures and human progress. By far the most commonly mentioned challenge or fear was the loss of jobs and increased competition in the job market and the resulting implications on social inequality. Other concerns included an over-reliance on tech, fraud, security breaches, a loss of privacy and reduced human interaction and laziness. Underlying some of these worries was a sense of powerlessness due to AI posing a perceived existential threat to what it means to be human. A lack of trust also emerged. Participants mentioned they would feel safer if humans were in control of areas like the military, medicine and teaching. And feelings of fear were sometimes underpinned by references to film and literature. For example, Terminator was used a couple of times to justify feelings of fear, as was George Orwell's 1984. As we have seen, most students feel that the future is likely to contain both positive and negative elements. There is general agreement that people will be affected differently depending on their skills and their mindset. Students could see the positives here. They spoke of the possibility of a better work-life balance, of more satisfying jobs, of new kinds of jobs, new kinds of lives possible thanks to AI and automation. However, they also spoke of job losses. They feared the loss of meaning that comes about with unemployment. They feared rising social inequality, which could lead to unrest and crime. Many spoke of a painful transition period, which they felt was inevitable as the world shifted from the world we have today to a world where AI and automation is more prevalent. Students agreed that governments, business and society need to regulate AI and automation in order to safeguard the well-being of ordinary citizens. They felt that educators need to prepare students and equip them with the necessary skills and the necessary mindset to navigate this brave new world. On a more personal level, students displayed anxiety about privacy. In an age of big data and surveillance, privacy is being eroded, something that students are acutely aware of. They also feared that there would be less opportunities for human interaction in a world dominated by artificial intelligence and that loneliness could therefore become a problem. There were also anxieties about the possible erosion of human identity, especially if AI were to develop emotions. How do students see themselves in these futures? Based on the survey data, all students feel that AI will impact their future career and just over half, 51%, feel that the impact is very likely. The post-survey data shows that after studying the robotics course, 55% think AI is more likely to impact their career. And you can read a quote from a student here about the relationship between education and the workplace and the impact of AI on both. But despite this certainty about the impact of AI, there is a mixture of findings around how prepared students feel to navigate this future workplace. The survey findings show that almost two thirds of students feel only somewhat prepared to navigate a workplace increasingly shared with technology. Only one fifth feel very prepared and the remaining fifth do not feel prepared at all. 
These findings may perhaps be explained by the current generation of students who took part in this research. They are on the cusp of entering the workforce and as a group automation will definitely impact on their working lives. Yet they have been educated in a system which is only just beginning to wake up to the implications of automation for the workforce. And many students are not fully aware of what the future will hold and it is this uncertainty that may be impacting on how prepared they feel. In fact, findings from the post-course survey show that 25% of respondents felt more prepared in some way to navigate a workplace which may be increasingly shared with AI. And this was mainly down to the knowledge the students gained on the robotics course. Many students recognise robotic automation as an inevitably disruptive force. However, in a classic example of optimism bias, many believe robots will perform most of the work currently done by humans, but also believe that they will be okay. Their jobs will either definitely or probably exist in their current form within the same time frame. Some participants thought that the impact would be small in their careers. I think we should still be confident because I think AI will play a role, but not a major role, not a complete major role that you could actually become useless. The majority of our sample were from privileged backgrounds, and this was reflected in the common perception that AI will replace low skilled and autonomous jobs. But since these were not the types of jobs that these students aspired to, they did not feel threatened by AI and saw it more primarily as an assistant to their complex tasks. For example, this participant feels their future career will not be impacted by, by AI and plans to have nothing to do with it. I'm an entrepreneur and marketing major. I don't intend to work with AI. I feel like as an entrepreneur, you have to make mistakes to learn from it so you can grow. But if you have AI, then it's almost too perfect. So you don't get to make mistakes or learn new things. I personally am not interested in it and I don't care if I learn about AI in the workplace. In essays written at the very end of the course, when students had increased knowledge of the subject matter and had had more time to reflect on the implications of what they had learned, several students expressed the opinion that society needs to wake up to the dangers and the promise of artificial intelligence. They felt that only those who are prepared and alert will benefit from the coming changes. Some feel that they will be on the winning side. They point out that humans are competitive by nature and they feel confident that they will manage to upgrade their skills and abilities in order to compete with artificial intelligence. They don't think that they will suffer too much. Some feel they will actually benefit from a world dominated by AI. Other students, however, were less confident. They worried that what they are studying will be redundant by the time they join the job market and felt that they should perhaps concentrate on areas where AI is less likely to make an impact. How do students plan to actively respond? In the survey, students were asked to list the top three skills you feel you will need to develop for a career increasingly shared with AI. The findings from the pre-course survey are summarised in the table shown here. So before studying the robotics course, the most commonly listed skills by students were general computing and technology skills. This was followed by an understanding of and skills in AI, and also what were called human or soft skills. So this included things such as critical thinking, creative thinking and ethics. Students were asked the same question again after they had completed the robotics course. And the findings are summarised in the table shown here. You can see there was a lot more emphasis post-course on the human and soft skills. And more students listed adaptability as a skill. So being prepared to constantly update skills and knowledge and being prepared for change. These skills were discussed in more detail in the essays and focus groups. There was an overriding emphasis on adaptability. Participants emphasised the need for people to keep skills updated, be flexible, stay familiar with developments in AI and keep themselves marketable so as not to fall behind the technology trends. They also mentioned needing knowledge of AI and being willing and able to cooperate with machines and work alongside them in the workforce. A number of participants mentioned the need to be prepared for radical change, changing the whole system or third order change, a future that is completely unrecognisable. As a result, a change in mindset was necessary whereby people will need to embrace new ways of working and thinking about business, in quotes, shifting from what we're used to doing into the new ways. 
Skills that AI could not replace included complex decision making, critical thinking, gut instinct or intuition, entrepreneurship and emotional intelligence. Perceived human skills and qualities were empathy, ethics, flexibility and creativity. The final research theme is around what advice students have for other younger students and also for educators. Starting with the advice they would give to students at school making their education and career choices. We have pulled together all of the findings from the surveys, focus groups and essays. The first piece of advice is to be adaptable and stay flexible. So students describe the importance of being ready to adapt to changes that can impact future education and careers. Secondly, the importance of learning IT skills and keeping them up to date and also being prepared to invest time and energy learning about AI and how this will affect any career they are interested in. The third piece of advice is to be alert and be informed, so to gather knowledge, perhaps through internships and experience, to make informed decisions and also learn to spot trends and react to them fast. The fourth piece was to keep your options op open and think broadly rather than vocationally, so to pursue all interests and also to take advantage of any learning opportunities, particularly online ones such as through MOOCs and so on. And finally, in addition to all of this, many students describe the importance of doing something you are passionate about, something that makes you get out of bed in the morning. Students have a lot of advice for educators designing courses for future students. First of all, they spoke of the need to alert students about the innovations and changes that are transforming the workplace. They spoke of the need to show how each field is being transformed by artificial intelligence. They also placed great importance on skills development and suggested a curriculum that emphasizes coding and data analytics. Many feared that maths-based subjects like accountancy are in danger of being replaced by artificial intelligence, so they thought students should acquire skills in other areas, such as ethics and the humanities, which they saw as more AI resistant. Participants also felt that business leaders have a responsibility to use and implement artificial intelligence in a sustainable and ethical way, which was another reason to study ethics. Interestingly, participants mentioned the need to learn about human psychology and to discuss what humanity really means. Underpinning this, was a sense of the need to define, protect and guard humanity in an age where artificial beings with artificial intelligence are being created. In terms of delivery, students wanted to use artificial intelligence in the classroom as much as possible. They wanted to experiment with new forms of AI. They spoke of personalised learning and testing, of blended classrooms and the use of automated grading where appropriate. They asked for field trips to see AI in action and internships with, with companies that use artificial intelligence and automation. They asked for, relative guest, for relevant guest speakers and field trips to exhibitions dealing with AI and the workplace. They asked for institutional support for small sandbox projects where they could experiment with business ideas involving AI and the Makers Lab where they could test out 3D printing, virtual reality and other cutting edge tools. At the same time, students felt it was important to retain a traditional classroom environment that emphasised human interaction between teachers and students and between students and other students. To conclude, students feel both hope and fear for the future. They envisage a future characterised by both the positive and negative elements, a future that contains opportunities and dangers. How do students see themselves in these futures? Some feel confident that they will have the skills and mindset to grab opportunity by the horns and be successful. Others are less sure and worry about their skills being made redundant by AI and automation. How do they plan to actively respond? Those who discuss this say they plan to, res to respond by being alert to emerging technologies, learning about them and getting practical experience of them whenever possible. What advice do they have for younger students and educators? 
They tell them to learn about AI and automation, to make sure they get the necessary skills, but not to forget what makes them human. Your humanity, they say, is important and valuable, maybe even more so in an age of automation and artificial intelligence. So what next? We need to finish analysing all of our data, particularly analysing the Crowdoscope data. We want to compare the responses of the students on the robotics course with our more general population of students. And we also want to analyse the remaining data we have about the perceived impact of AI on personal relationships, leisure time and physical and mental health. We're also interested to collect some further data with younger students aged say 16 to 18 years and we want to add the business voice to our project by gathering some insight into what this means for businesses and HR. And we'd very much welcome any thoughts on this research. And finally, here are our email addresses. So please do get in touch if you'd like to find out more or if you have any suggestions or questions or comments for us.